doing a routine recovery session with the team uh, the day after we played the Crusaders. And I was in the pool doing lengths with uh, Peter Saley and uh, Charles Pietel. And then out of nowhere, I just started basically talking like a baby. Uh, I tried to explain something to them and I was literally just like bleh, 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 bleh. And they both looked at each other like, what? Put it down to our migraines. Traveled to South Africa that day and it wasn't until we got back from uh, our trip to South Africa that I uh, got a scan uh, and found out that I had a stroke. What's the next chapter? What Are you thinking rugby's done for me or are you seeking second and third opinions or what's happening? I wasn't ready to, to, uh, to give up on, on footy. Um, it was basically part of who I am. How did you end up getting picked up by London Welsh? Where were you? Who approached you? Who did you speak to? Uh, I was at the uh, World, World Club Teens in Singapore. Justin approached me uh, and had a chat to me and um, so it got me thinking. I said, if you guys are dead set keen, then uh, I'll, you can get in touch with my, my agent. Had to make a pretty quick uh, decision. Enjoying it? Applying my trade with uh, Linda Welsh. Yeah, no, nah, apart from the results, I mean, the boys are a good bunch of boys and um, I'm, in, I'm enjoying my time here in Richmond. In terms of season goals, what will you look at come the end of this season and be happy with? Probably just uh, staying, with, staying in the Premiership is uh, going to be the, the biggest thing for, I guess, the whole squad.